the number one low back pain stretch. It's called the toilet squat. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so if you've got low back pain, whether the pain is right here in your tailbone, maybe it's sciatica raining down your leg, maybe it's back pain up here, there's one stretch, one stretch of all stretches that will help you stretch all of it from your butt all the way up to your back, okay? I call it the toilet squat. Here's how to do it. So in Asia, there's a lot of toilets that you have to squat to, to be able to use it, right? And so what you want to do is squat like this, right? Some people call it the Asian squat, right? Um, squatting is not here. Your heels have to touch the floor. So when you squat like this, when you squat like this, it stretches all of this all the way up, all the way up your back and relaxes your back, right? This is the best stretch for your lower back. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Can I not do gardening because of the weak hands? Try these coping tips for your peripheral neuropathy. It is known that one of the most favorite things of our grandmas and grandpas to do in their spare time is to take care of the environment by planting and taking care of their gardens. But because of peripheral neuropathy, they can't put their 100% energy because of sudden weakness in their hands. So you can relieve this by taking the right vitamins, such as vitamin B for your nerve health. A warm bath can be relaxing and can also help with neuropathy pain symptoms. Warm water improves blood circulation throughout the body, reducing numbness-related pain. And observing your blood sugar is also a must in order to prevent your neuropathy from worsening. For more health tips, follow Achieve Integrative Health. So we're going to continue the Blue Zone strategy. Uh, Blue Zone strategy on how to improve the quality of your life. Today is going to be tip number nine, okay? Number nine. Number nine is something that is... Uh, simple but not easy to do and that's take responsibility taking responsibility can actually re improve the quality of your life did you know that when you actually set your mind to take responsibility certain chemicals are released in your brain into your body that causes a physical response versus when you blame you know other things blame everybody everything but take responsibility that also causes your brain to secrete certain chemicals. We can say negative chemicals, negative chem chemicals that actually cause a negative response in your body. But when you take responsibility, it actually secretes your, it, it stimulates your brain to secrete positive chemicals, positive chemicals that can positively affect your organ function, uh, your energy, your sleep. So just by the simple fact of taking responsibility. So what does that mean, taking responsibility? Because every, you know, you know, we well, I interview quite a few people and, and I've talked to a lot of people and I've hired a lot of team members over the past and everybody thinks they are responsible. But at the end of the day, very few are responsible. So what is the definition of responsible? Being responsible. Being responsible is having control, knowing that you have control oh, over everything that happens to you and everything that does not happen to you. When you start saying words like, oh, it's because of, that's why, right? It's because of the reason I wasn't able to do something is because of, right? When you start saying these things or, oh, the reason I do things wrong is because of, because my parents taught me this way. Oh, because my teacher taught me, my boss taught me this way. Um, that's, a, that's not taking responsibility. Taking responsibility is regardless if you messed up, you do something, you know, you don't just take, taking responsibility is not just taking, taking, you know, kudos for when you do something great. It's, it's basically owning up to when you don't do something great. And it doesn't matter if it wasn't your fault or not. Because taking responsibility is making, is, is in your brain, you know, it's always your fault. Taking responsibility because you have control. And when you're able to do that, remember, you, you're, you will stimulate your brain to secrete positive chemicals, which will improve your quality of life, improve your organ function. But when you start blaming things, when you say, oh, I wasn't able to do this because of, 
right? Because of something else, someone else, because of the economy. I wasn't able to get my promotion because, oh, this other person backstabbed me. Oh, because the economy or, oh, because the corporation is greedy or the government's greedy or whatever. That's not taking responsibility. And when you don't take responsibility, nothing, nothing really good happens, right? But if you actually take responsibility and say, okay, the reason why I don't have the best health is because I didn't do my job. The reason why my kids didn't grow up is because I didn't teach them well. The reason why I didn't get my promotion is because I didn't do, I didn't do extra. And I had, you know, I didn't do extra. It's all about, you have to, when you start saying, okay, the reason, the reason I accomplished this or didn't accomplish this is because of me, that's taking responsibility. And when you take responsibility, I, you know, I challenge you to do that. When you take responsibility for everything, you, you, it's actually a win-win-win situation. Because when you blame someone else, not only you know, are you pissed off, but you just piss someone else off. So now, because you didn't take responsibility, now two people, two people have negative emotions just because one person failed to take responsibility. And, you know, and if, if you're in a service industry, if you don't take responsibility for failing your customers and you blame your boss for it, and who, who else loses? Your customer loses. So just because you didn't take responsibility, three people lost, right? Versus the other th spectrum is if you took the responsibility, not only would your team, your boss, your company win, the customer would win, and also you would win, even though it wouldn't feel like it. You would win because it would make you stronger. It would make you more empowered to have control of your life. And so taking responsibility is so powerful. And it starts, and that's, that's what health is. Health is about getting this, changing this. Because if you don't change this up here, it's very hard to get optimal health. It's very hard to have very great health, right? So I challenge you to take, start taking responsibility for everything right everything in your life don't blame anybody anything okay uh if you if you trip if you hit the wall don't blame the wall the wall was always was always there okay you just decided to run into it okay uh, so but if you do that need that extra help you got the positive mindset you've got the responsibility and you just need extra help give us a call achieve integrative health it can't get any better than coming to us all right we are specialists and helping people restore their organ function and restore their quality of life. We help people improve their quality of life by 30% in 90 days or less. So give us a call.